Hey what's going on everyone my name is Victor in this video I'll show you guys how I created a functionality for one of my clients uh, this is a WordPress plugin for um, uh, to catch users location for contact form 7 forms so there is a contact form 7 plugin for WordPress that generates forms and then I created a plugin that catches uh, the user's IP location I know there is a plugin that does that <clears throat> It's the track geolocation of users. I used this plugin for a while, but uh, uh, they're behind with fixing, fixing their bugs because um, I saw there's on the WordFence, they have a report where it's saying that they have a stored cross-site scripting uh, vulnerability on their plugin. And this was detected on November 29, 2023. And now it's January 28, 2024. And they, they have the latest update a month ago, but the version is still 1.4 and WordFence is saying that this is still present in 1.4. So I didn't want to use this plugin because it looks suspicious to me. So what I did is uh, I created my own functionality. It's a lot easier than this plugin. It's a lot simpler, but it gets the, jo the job, uh, job done. So um, I will share in this video how I created this stuff. Let me, let me show you a demo. I have this uh, form. So it's just like, you know, submit this form, just fill out some information, just click submit. It's saying thank you. Now if I go to my email, I get this email, you know, I get all the data. But the last line is, uh, this is what the plugin is going to do. It's going to add this line. It's going to say user location. And it's saying the city, have the city, the state, and the country. So it's easy stuff. I'm going to write everything from scratch in case you want to follow along with me. I'm also going to leave a, uh, it's gonna leave, there's going to be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code. And uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, I have, uh, you'll just have to make sure that you have contact form seven plugin installed. And, uh, this is the plugin that I built already. So I'm gonna recreate this plugin in this video. Um, I also have WordPress mail SMTP. You don't, you don't need this stuff. I just use it because I didn't want to use my hosting providers SMTP server. So I use a different server here, uh, but you don't need that stuff. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm going to deactivate this plugin that I have for a demo, I'm going to delete it. All right, so I just have the contact form seven. If I go back, I have this form. Uh, make sure you have a form created, you know, just uh, make sure you grab the short code, just put it somewhere on your website. And what we want to do now is let me go back to my WordPress core. So here's, here's how the WordPress uh, public HTML folder looks like. So what you want to do is, um, so let's go to WordPress content, WP content and go to plugins. And then here we want to create a new directory. And this directory is going to be, let me call, I'll call it contact hyphen form hyphen seven hyphen IP hyphen tracker. And I'm going to actually copy it and I'm going to create a new file that's going to be named the same way uh, like as the folder, because this is going to be the main file. It's a PHP file. So it's going to be contact form seven IP tracker dot PHP. Um, so now what I want to edit this file, just open it. Uh, it's going to be an empty file for you. I just had this comment. Let me just take this get this away from here and let's go under plugins. All right. So we don't have it. Okay. Let's open back. So, uh, the first thing is to just, we need a comment here just to let, um, to just let WordPress know that this is the main file of our plugin. So, uh, and that will tell WordPress uh, what the plugin name is, what the version is and so forth and so on. So let's open the comment. We open the PHP comment and then let's close it. And then here we want to have plugin name and then we'll have description. We'll have the author. Let's do a version and it's one. And then we have author. It's, I'm just going to do Victor. The plugin name is going to be IP location catcher. 
and I'll copy and paste and do the same for the description. So if I save this stuff now, I send it back to my server. Uh, if I refresh the page, I'm gonna see this under my plugins. I will see this plugin already. It doesn't do anything, but I already see it here. So I can actually activate it and then just uh, work live. You know, whenever I make changes, everything is gonna fire right away. So <clears throat> Contact Form 7 has documentation. I'm gonna use a few hooks from here. This is the main one that I'm going to use in this video. Uh, so uh, what we want to do in our... Um, the first step is to add an action that's going, it's going to fire after the user clicked on the submit button, but before uh, the server sent the email. So it's going to be in between. It's going to be an action in between. So this hook, let's just do hook into hook into contact form seven form submission. So here we will have add action and the action is the, actually it's uh, WP, it's WP uh, CF seven, which means WordPress contact form seven and then underscore before underscore send underscore mail. And then here after mail, we have the, this is, this is going to be the action that we will create in, in this video. So capture underscore user underscore IP underscore location. All right, so make sure that you copy this name from here and then let's create the function. So we have function and the function name is this name from here. Make sure this is the, uh, the they match. And of course we grab the contact form. This is the contact form that's already created in, in, in our WordPress website. And then here we want to get the submission instance. So let me leave a comment and say get the contact contact form seven submission instance and then here I will have a variable which is going to be the submission submission and then like I already told you guys I'm using this uh, main class that they have this is uh, it has almost the whole thing that we need for this project so that's what I'm going to do here it's WP CF seven and then underscore submission like this submission then we have two dots two dots and then we have get instance so we grab the instance and then now we're having all this data we have to check now let's check if the, the submission exists let's check if this submission exists so we have an if statement submission so if the, if it exists then we want to grab the user ip address now remember there are two versions of uh, ip addresses we we have version 4 and and the newer one is version 6 so first we want to see if uh, there is a version 6 ip address available uh, if the user has a uh, version 6 ip address if it doesn't then we check for the version 4 we assign the version 4 so let's do let's leave a comment and say get users <coughs> excuse me guys I'm I, I got a little sick all right so we get user IP address and then we have an if statement and we check if it's different than empty uh, if it's different than empty then we have server and then we have here HT HTTP underscore X underscore forwarded underscore four. So if this is not empty, then we want to assign this whole thing. Let me just copy it. We assign it to user underscore IP variable. Okay, like this user IP server else which means if it's empty then that means that the users ha has a version 4 IP address so we have user underscore IP and we assign server and this is the remote ADDR like this all right so uh, next is 
But uh, having this IP, we, we should send it to a service provider, which in our case is uh, I'm using ipinfo.io. This is the ipinfo.io. And the way it works is uh, it's free, you know, just do ipinfo.io slash, you just put your IP address slash JSON, and this is gonna return you uh, a file like this, where it gives you all this data here, you know, the, the IP, we already have the IP. We All we need in this is, um, in this case, is just the city, region, and country. It gives you a lot more information here, but this is what we need in this case. So we need to grab these three, three lines from here. So in order to do that, uh, we'll have to let's do let me leave a comment and say get users get users IP location uh, okay location and then we have IP info and and then uh, this 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 data is in JSON format so we have to decode it so we have JSON decode like this and then we want to get the content from the file so we have file underscore get underscore con contents like this and here we just uh, let me just copy this url or actually not let me just type it in with you guys if you follow along with me that's the https uh, and then we have ip info dot io slash and then we have user ip user ip slash json all right so now having all this information all this information that we see we see on the screen is stored in our variable it's here now we have to access it and then assign it to a separate um, location variable so let's extract relevant location information and then we have location variable and we assign we we firstly check is set <coughs> we have ip is that ip info and then ip info city we grab the first one so we go to your region uh, city all right and we check if uh, there is any data in this uh and this line, you know, in this uh, node, object node. And then if there is something, then we assign this, we assign this data to the location variable. So let me just copy it and paste it like this. And we want to add a semicolon here. So I'm gonna add semicolon and space because after this uh, follows the region, which is the, the state in our case. So just make sure that it's not empty. So I'm gonna do this two more times the next one is going to be for the region and then this is going to be the last one is the country country and make sure you delete this concatenation from here because we don't need to have a comma afterwards and okay so now having all this stuff is set json decode just make sure okay don't forget to add here uh, a dot like on the second and on the third one because we want to add data to the current available data that we already assigned to the location because if you don't put this dot it's going to assign new data over and over and over again all right so here the next step is to um, add the location to the contact form email body now while we're having this stuff we want to add it to the email body so the server can send the email with the information that we provided to the email body so let's do add the location uh, to the contact form seven email body like this and then we have mail mail here and then contact form contact form prop prop mail and then we have mail body and again we just add data to the current value uh, variable value and then here we have um, backsplash whatever this is called which means that we uh, 
assign all this data. We want this stuff to be on the new line. So we have user location, and then we have here location like this. All right, and then we have to update the mail property. So update mail properties, get contact form, set properties, array, and the property name is mail, and then the value is the mail variable. All right, and this was the last step. So um, Saved it. Let's make sure that I didn't misspell anything. I just contact form props prop empty capture mail. So let's let's save it. All right, and go back. Go back to the server. All right, everything works well. Refresh this. Let's see if it's working. I'm gonna do testing. Click submit. I'd say thank you. Let's see if we got the data. No, for some reason it doesn't work. Let me delete this. Let me try again. I'll do mic. Submit. Refresh. There you go. No, it doesn't work. Something is wrong. You probably you probably already saw my mistake, but it just I can't hear you guys. That's why you can't tell me when I'm doing something wrong here. All right, so we have instance, WordPress, CS7, submission. We grab the IP. We got this stuff, JSON, user IP. And then we have city, region. All right, that looks good to me, contact form. All right, so the problem is here, guys. I should this should be not hyphen, but like equal sign. So let's save it. Let me save this. Let's go back, refresh this. Let's do one more time. Submit. Let's go back to my email and the user location is here all right everything works fine all right guys that's it um i hope uh, this is useful for you if you like the video please give it a thumbs up <clears throat> subscribe for my channel and i'll see you in the next video